Joe, Kat, and I have made it back to the river today. We're gonna look for some shark teeth and hopefully find Kat's first megalodon tooth. It is a beautiful day and it is very hot. We've got one or two spots we wanna make sure we check today and we're hiking to them right now. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, oh my God. That's not cooked at all. Nope, not even a little bit. Is that deer or is that like sheep? That's like microwaved. That's deer. It's deer? It's deer. Why would there be sheep out here? <laughs> there could be. It's not thick enough of a job to be sheep. So right now we're walking over gravel that belongs to the Peace River Formation. And you can see that it's really fossiliferous. There's bone from the Ice Age all in this. And so when you're scouting for locations on rivers like the Peace River, you want to find this gravel. And this gravel is where all those shark teeth and bone is going to be. It's what you want to sift up. To the river we go. Good little bee. Get your pollen. Get your pollen. Help pollinate flowers and keep Florida healthy. We have a lot more walking before we get to that next spot, but this is such a beautiful river and such a cool place to be out looking for some pieces of prehistory and megalodon shark teeth and other cool fossils. Look what I got. We've been here for five minutes and Joe's already found something pretty incredible. Oh my god. That's nice. Hold on, I'm gonna check up. Junk! He found a meg where my nice one came from. Uh, your nice one came from way up here. Yeah, that one's a different color. That is nice. That's a day maker right there. Oh yeah, you can't find anything else better today practically. That's awesome. Yeah, that is killer. I've got to wrap that up or something. Ooh. Oh. It's almost three inches. Oh my god, that is pretty. Wow. That's really pretty. It comes with friends too. That's gonna dry off to be so light and gorgeous. It's got a little feeding damage and one serration nick. Other than that, oh two right there. Other than that, that's probably my top two meg teeth. You see the back? Lay that nice. one out pretty. It's hard for us to even explain how gorgeous this megalodon tooth is, and from this Especially area... Especially from this river, that's unheard of. That's as good as they get. I don't know how we're going to beat that the rest of the day. Do you mind if I see you, that's Joe? That's like Venice, golden beach colors. That's wow. Great. That is so nice. That just came out these last, like, five minutes. <laughs> Let's get that in the sun. And there it is. An absolutely A-plus quality gorgeous tooth from this river. It does not get better than that. That is going to be top shelf for the rest of Joe's life. Hey, I got visitation rights, right? I think I'm going to skip it back. Joe's going to skip it back. That's as pretty as they get though. Look at that blue, light blue, and it's going to dry even lighter. That is one of the top five megalodon teeth in this area I've ever seen. And it's going to dry out and be even prettier than that. The heck are you talking about top five? That's the number one. Number one? Nah, nah, mine's better. No, it's not. It's pale white. It looks like that junk from uh, Indonesia. There's the other side. I could spend the rest of today just looking at this one tooth. Well, but we can find a second one. Let's look for a second one. Let's get back to digging. That's awesome. We're going to spend just a little bit longer hunting here, and then we've got plenty more day left to find some more cool Florida fossils. So we'll get right to it. Same spot, and there seems to be a Hubble Megalodon tooth right below. I'm going to see if it's whole, but I hope it is. Very little visibility. Ooh. Oh, the roots chip. But that would be such a sick Hubble. Why? Why little guy? There's that Hubble Megalodon tooth. This would have been one of the nicest Hubble teeth I have ever found if it was just kept that corner to the root, but Hubble teeth are the first set of teeth that a Megalodon shark would have had. So this would have been prenatal or just postnatal, so right after the Meg was born, this would have been one of its first teeth, and it is nice. Same coloration, almost as Joe's Meg, which I'm gonna go pick up because it's drying really pretty. It's got great 
like bands of calico colors. Coming through. There are more fossils to be found out here, so sure. Stop, 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 stop. Look right there. Oh. Look at them gray teeth. That really looks cooked. That doesn't look fresh. Pick it, it up. Looks like they're all gone except for those two in the front. God. Yeah, they're all gone except for the two in the front, but that's... Is it cooked? Well mineralized. That's awesome. Ah, uh, but all the teeth are gone. Except for those two really small ones in the front. Yeah, it's missing all the teeth, but those really small ones right in the front. At least you got two. It does look like raccoon, though. Still carnivore. Still carnivore. It could be something else, though. It's hard to tell with some of these extinct species. Well, unless they're extant fossils. It's cooked. That's really cooked, though. That's awesome. Yeah, Good find. Look at them white teeth, too. Look at it in situ right there, John. Yep, so that's reworked river layer in situ. So that's where the river used to flow and it's redeposited all this phosphate gravel, which has bones and shark teeth. And look Joe at just, that bit of turtle shell right up there. Yep, and Joe just found that fossilized deer astragalus just right in that. So we're in a good area. We're going to keep hunting and hopefully find something nice in this spot. That's a block of the Peace River formation and right there is an extinct pufferfish mouth plate. You want to pop really it out? Really big one. Are you going to keep it in the, the block? I oh, don't know, it's might, crumbling. Yeah. Might keep it in as much of it. Oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. So that's the crushing lower jaw to a pufferfish. A big one. Look at the size of that thing. That wouldn't have been a big puffer. Mm-hmm. That's cool. So right here, this is the crushing plates, and this would have been where the lips were. So Joe and I were doing some surface collecting, and we found a pretty interesting representation of extinct species. We've got deer antler, soft shell turtle right there. About drop that. Crocodile scoot, an extinct sloth tooth, and then Joe found a section of mammoth tooth. So that would have been a lot bigger actually. How many plates do you have? Just two. two? You would have had between 8 and 15 plates. So that would have been a huge tooth if we were lucky and it was whole. Nope. But not a bad spot. Cat's digging away down here. We'll go catch up with her. We've caught back up with Cat, and apparently she said she's found. She said she said. <laughs> I said I said I said. She said she's found a mammal tooth. I think I see them right there. You found a whale ear bone? Right there? Is that an ear bone? Yeah, it's a whale ear bone. Sweet. Second one of today. And here are those goodies I was pointing at is earlier. That a piece of poop? That is not a piece of poop. Okay. But that one, is a pretty cool unerupted horse tooth. So this horse tooth would not have been erupted yet from the jaw, so it has no wear yet. Which is really cool, you don't actually see them like that that often. So good find, Cat. Thanks. And then nice cute shark teeth. I like these too. Very good. Keep working. If you're sifting in the river, you want to be able to find gravel. And the best way to do it is to hear it clink under your shovel. So that feels pretty good right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a test sift right here. Let's see if we can't get on some fossils. There we go. More fossils. There's a cool little gator tooth. And another shark tooth. A look at that section of a urchin. Very cool. Ooh, shark tooth. Ooh, it's a pretty Ooh, one. Piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. What's that? Oh, it's just a that's rock. a rock. It looked like a chunk of skull. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stop, 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 stop. That is a really nice extinct horse tooth. We're still finding stuff, guys. This river has a lot of fossils to offer. Scallop. Scallop. Good old tiger shark tooth. Scallop. Ooh, and a scallop cat. Scallop. Fossils. We are 10 seconds away from filming oh, our outro, big. and Joe just oh, found a mako tooth. See, people don't look for the subtle stuff. I saw that just by the root. Ooh, oh! That's a nice mako, dude. Nice. Oh, look at that silver color on the back. What the heck? Flip it around. That's a nice tooth. Okay, well, we're done hunting today. That is awesome. Huh. We've got a bag full of goodies, lots of nice shark teeth and other fossils in there. And then we have all of today's trip makers. Joe started off the day with that perfect near three inch museum quality one in a million shark tooth with that megalodon tooth right there. 
I got me a cute little prenatal Hubble Megalodon tooth. So this would have been the first set of shark teeth that the Megalodon would have had. Joe got an awesome mammal jaw, and that doesn't look that terribly well cooked, but that thing is super well mineralized, solid rock now. And then 10 seconds ago, Joe found a cool Mako to end the day. So we've had a really awesome trip. We've got a long walk out of here. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you the next time we dig some science.